Yeah. No, and I want to focus That's on okay. faith because, because I feel this is one of our primary problems is that many of you are so focused on emotion and, and still focusing all of your effort on emotion and the main reason why is because you're not, you don't have any faith and, and you, don't have this, you haven't got this experience happening with God and so you're having to go through and work through every single emotion by itself on its own with no assistance from God really through the process and of course you feel sometimes very confused about that and you don't know what the truth is and you don't know what an error is and so forth. It becomes very plain if you do it with God, with faith. A lot so. of us try to deal with the emotion so then we're good enough for God. And that's the opposite of faith and prayer actually. Yeah. yeah. In fact, I, we, myself and Mary were having a conversation maybe three months ago now where Mary was saying you know, that she felt like she needed to do this and do that and do this and do that before she could pray for divine love. And I'm going, well, why do you feel like you have to do all of those things? She said, oh, because the, the way she saw it was how I have to let go of all the untruth before I can, you know, pray for divine love. And I'm going, well, no, I've never said that at all. You know, <laughs> the truth is a doorway to love, but, but I've never said you have to let go of all the untruth before you can receive any love. Because if, if that was the case, hardly any of us would... That, that's the natural love path, actually. That, that's exactly what, the nat, what you would do on the natural love path. Right. And actually the most powerful thing that got me to that realisation was just to engage the great experiment intentionally every day. Before then I was praying to God about heaps of things, bring me truth, help me be humble, all those things. But I wasn't asking for love because I thought, I'm not good enough for that yet. I'm not going to get it. I'm going to have to, you know, be a good girl and perform before I get it. Is that, was that a hooray, Angie? <laughs> 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 but just, how, how, how yeah. many of you are thinking that you have to be good enough before you're going to get any love? Yeah, the majority of the audience, right? Yeah. That's, not, that's not love then, is it? That's barter. That's what you've done with your parents. And that's what you've done with society and maybe even your partner still. But that's not real love. Real love is somebody loving you without you having to work on it or without you having to ha have it. Does that make sense? So... Yeah. And, and the thing that really like hit me with that emotion was to, and this is where exactly what Jesus is saying to you, the more you talk about this stuff, it doesn't really help. If you just do the experiment every day, it like gets you like a visual, <laughs> visceral experience. Like, oh, I feel totally unworthy of this love now that I'm actually asking for it. Yeah. And it's just so powerful to engage the experiment.